Hey guys, Brian with WhiskeyRiverTraining.com. So, I wanted to show you guys this. This is a piece of axe history, I call it. This is a vintage cast steel pattern that we found. Uh, and this is the Heritage C is styled after. 30C, sorry. And this has that iconic bulb swell that you would have seen in the late 1800s that most axes would have came with. We've found axes with handles that look like they've came off of this pattern or a very similar pattern. So this is a handle that we've been offering for quite some time, what, a, about a year, I think. And we've been trying to improve it little at, at a time and with every batch. And the biggest complaint has been the eye size. So I wanted to give you guys an update on this and talk about this pattern and how we've been putting a bunch of time into it and making it perfect. So we've been getting opinions from Buck and Billy Ray on YouTube, who you guys know as a uh, Canadian timber faller, and he is really big into Tasmanian patterns and, and large eyed axes, jerseys and, and such. So this handle um, has been, we've been adding to it uh, with weld and trying to get it as thick as we can. So I can't remember what I said the, uh, the dimensions were of the top here, um, but the shoulder is, let's see, uh, 2.69. And then the top of the eye, it's a little bit tapered, so it's 2.5, and the thickness is 0.98, so right around an inch thick, right down at the shoulder. So this is, this is, this handle is for someone who is more of an expert of fitting eyes, or if you're a novice and you want to give it a shot on a really cool handle, this would be the one. So there's been a lot of complaints about, hey, why don't you ever have these in stock? Hey, why is there so much gap in between runs? Well, this pattern has been getting sent around uh, back and forth between our mill, our handle mill and us, trying to get this dialed in perfectly. When this first came to us, it had an eye that was only about two, two and an eighth at the top. And it was tear, lemon shaped and not teardrop shaped like you guys want for a uh, single bit axe handle. So little bit at a time, eventually it'll be perfect and we'll be able to offer these more and more. Quality is our top, uh, our top um, priority here. So we're not trying to rush these out the door and get as many as we can out the door. Uh, we're trying to produce the most perfect axe handle, the best axe handle that has ever hit the market. And that takes time. It's just how it is. You know, we're lumber, uh, you can't just go and buy a bundle of lumber and have it all be the correct. I mean, you guys have probably bought two by fours in the last uh, few years and you know that half of them are twisted and junk. So hickory is no different and grain orientation is important. And so these are made out of eight quarter which is two inches thick at the swell, and that's what gives you this big bulb swell. In the future, uh, we plan on offering a 32 inch. This is a 30, so we're planning on offering a 32 inch, a 36 inch, and then a 28 inch, which is a traditional length for the Tasmanian pattern and Connecticut pattern axes. Maybe down the road, we'll offer a boys axe version, which is like a little bit smaller um, in the swell and a little bit smaller in the eye. But for now, we're really confident that the last tweak is completed on this. We'll see, we're gonna send it off to the mill and we're gonna get this next batch in the works. Uh, we were hoping for December 1st, this is 2021. Uh, that's probably not gonna happen, but hopefully before the end of the year, we're gonna be getting, getting this back into production and uh, have a few hundred heading our way to offer you guys. So stay tuned to our newsletter on whiskeyrivertrading.com. You can sign up at the bottom of our homepage uh, otherwise, if you're seeing this on Instagram, you can head over to our bio and click newsletter sign up. Sign up there, we'll give updates on this. And check it out on our website, sign up for restock notifications. These are going to be a hit. And if you guys ever have any thoughts or ways to improve this axe handle, please let us know. Shoot me an email, brandon at whiskeyrivertraining.com. I'd love to hear from you guys. And of course, send us pictures of the completed projects. That's all I got for you guys. So I will see you uh, next time. And check this handle out in our heritage axe handle section 
on whiskeyrivertrading.com. Be good.